Hello, this is Pixie doing another video. So what news do I have to bring you? Um, I'm slightly lighter, so I'm below 17 stone, which is great. It's uh, one of these things though, it's not always obvious. Your body will shift shapes. I, I should really get myself a tape, so I think if you're gonna go, if you go start fasting, you should consider Get a tape, just take measurements, basic measurements before you start doing it, and then di put it into a diary. Just the um, the waist, arms, stuff like that. And also it depends on your arms. You need to make a little note: of, is your arms quite fat? You know, some people get kind of like the uh, the bingo wings, as they like to call them. So their body stores a lot of fat there. So then you might need to do a bit of body sculpting. Look at areas that are fat. Why are your body's absorbing the fats? Look at see if you can strengthen them, them areas, because your hormone balance should improve. So therefore, you you should be able to improve your muscular tone, body function. And generally, generally with um, women, they will be more flexible than men. And so some exercises work very well with them because they uh, they build build a certain amount of strength, but they um, they create a more um, what you call like twitch muscle. It's longer, it's not bulking. There's different types of muscle uh, mass, so they'll be more faster. Basically, their speed will be increased because if you if you've got a better flexibility, then your your, your muscles basically the force is directed forwards more than dealing with um, antagonistic forces because all muscles use an antagonistic system you know there's a there's a pull and there's a push going on in order to create a movement that's, that's straight because you, all your muscles are wrapped around your bones so they're pulling against the bone and the tension creates the direction so it's not as simple as just being able to target one muscle. They used to do that, but then it comes down to body sculpting. You maybe have a predominance for a certain muscle set or a muscle. You may be working at kind of reducing at some point. Alright, checking the traffic. And the other fit benefit of fasting and things like yoga, so it's good to have not just one look at the full functions of them particular muscle groups so you need to be a stretch you need to be able to move fast you need to be able to deal with certain weight like for instance my shoulders I haven't got much flexibility there their strength though it's um, it's a, it's the kind of payoff from one to the other but then you without flexibility you can get if your muscles become too antagonistic like um, your neck muscles they might end up becoming quite stiff, uncomfortable, give you headaches, tension headaches, stuff like that, because it's a bit of an overdevelopment. In the trapeziums, because I was looking to, uh, yesterday I was with a client, it was kind of about the pain in his back, but it's, it's limited to a, a section of his back, mid-back. So, um, so yeah, it was just like a section. So we jokingly said, "Oh, is that your um, which part of the beef is that?" Because we saw I saw a program about a cow, and they were saying, you know, like the rump is that just below the rump of the, of the body or something? Rump to the arse, I think. But um, a bit above it, so it'd be something else. <laughs> so I have to look at a human. It's just it's sick actually. I compare a cow and, and the meats because of the, where the ribs are, and then you can learn about. Um, it's not going to be so different, an animal and a human, when it comes to um, muscle in areas. So there might be naturally areas with bulky, but coming back to like shoulders, so, so it's doing things like um, doing something like a bridge is, I could get the flexibility from the lower part of the back, but the upper back, no. So I'm not going to be doing any back flips, not unless, I, not unless I'm able to jump really high into the air and then spin round or something. 
I don't think that's going to happen for a long time. I was looking at body weight, so when you're looking at cutting your weight or you know, getting yourself ripped and all sorts of things, you have to look at your genetic structure as well, like your parents. So mine, it wasn't too bad. My, I mean, my dad was down to about like, about 11 and a half stone. Uh, I think the stone's about six and a half kilograms. Where are we going, man? Oh, for fuck's sake, go on that side. Jesus. You know, that's what I would do. I'd cut into the nearest lane and then come across. I cut across my front. Obviously a bally bag, I think. That's why his car's got dents in it. Always a rule. If you see cars all smacked up their um, bumpers and stuff, they usually don't, their spatial awareness is usually a bit shot or they act, act in a particular way. It's probably a bloody run, drug runner. <laughs> the speed his vehicle's going at. I must admit my drive isn't perfect, but Christ, it's about giving way, isn't it? Yep. So, like that, the guy was indicating, I could see what was going on, no issues. About communicating, group communication, social networking, the other type. The one that involves non-internet use. It involves psychological use. Psyche networking. So yeah, it's all um, it's all good. So I need a bit more of the sculpting. There's some other things though. Once you start improving, start experiment on on the exercise front. So I'm going to do a little bit more vacuum yoga stuff on the stomach. But I need to be quite careful. I'm. It's a bit like um, once you start raising the bar, it's easier. It's a bit like a fancy doing loads of press ups today, but I chose not to. My lower back tender, even though my Psychologically, I want to do some exercises, so that might be to do with hormones. I want to be more active. It's warmer, the weather. Maybe my body wants to heal that, so it wants me to build it up a bit of muscle. But there's a right way of doing it, there's a wrong way of doing it, and the wrong way is acting on an impulse. You know, it's like um, it's like doing sports but not warming up. Because your impulse is that you want to play sports, but you. You haven't bothered to warm your, your muscles up properly. So you're not playing at your full uh, potential. So, um, and there's other things as well, Miffs, when we come back to the, the fasting. Things like, now, when you understand your muscles have a type of energy source, your main body can burn fats and convert it between the, the um, different sources, of sugar compounds. But glycogen is in your muscles for a lot of the high energy and so sometimes snacking some junk food isn't going to be that bad because if you're going to start putting it to use it's not going to be a problem if your arms are starting to wear down you start eating a bit of chocolate for instance it's not going to be a bad thing also tensions muscle tensions cramps you know don't deny yourself um, something sugary and quick absorbent the body if you're suffering from cramps and other pains because your muscles may be saying look I need I need some sugars you know I've had it before actually with headaches tension headaches so those sugars are kind of it's, it's eased up when I've had some glucose so it's not the enemy but what it is is readapting the body to have um, better resources better use you're testing its um, abilities is it, is it learning to adapt if you've removed that adapt, adaptive thing, so in essence, it's a kind of negative hack when people eat loads of sugar, because then the body says, well, we don't really need to worry about fat because we're always having sugar. So what we do is we put that to one side until there's a, there's a use for it, because we don't have a use at the moment, and it just maintains that way. Some people, though, may have actually hacked themselves in the other way, so they eat lots of sugar, but they can't store much fat. And so they're vulnerable to different things like climate, certain type of climate, and so, so on. And there's other things, race stuff as well. Like, um, say for instance, a black person, they do have, there are fat black people, you know, but in, in a hot country, the muscle tissue is slightly different. That's why they're stronger, that's why blokes, most blokes have got. Um, Six pack. So if you're trying to do fast, fast like a black man, you want to get get yourself looking that, that kind of lean. And uh, that's a bit sort of tongue in cheek. But they generally tend to be quite fit, athletic, 
and it's an, a natural because the environment is very hot. They can't, they, their body can't afford to have loads of fat on it. They overheat and have a heart attack. So hotter environments. But if they've adapted to a colder environment, they may start putting on more fat. And, and there are a lot of um, black people that have, if they have been caught up in the, the immigration from, you know, the economic slavery and other things, and brought across to a different country, then what they are, oh, there go, yeah, that's fine. Then, um, And tight. Then they might have mixed mixed background anyway. So a lot of, you know, if they got like things like their noses are hooked, as other telltale signs, they're either a a different black tribe or they are a kind of black Israelite because they may have been had a Jewish um, added to the gene pool, or they were just from an area where they mixed anyway. So you know, what, there was no sort of like dominance over so sort of somebody who's black and forced to force breeding in some way, plus selective breeding. It may have been a natural selection. So uh, anything else? So yeah I've lost a bit of weight. I'm gonna try an experiment where I might just start I might drink some goat's milk and have it kind of as a water fast, but I'll be having tea. Oh, the tea's quite nice. I find it very refreshing with uh, milk. Now milk goat's milk's different from cow's milk. If you're intolerant to cow's milk you can drink goat's milk. So I need to have a look at the chemistry of it. Does it have a lot of sugars in it? It may have very low sugars and high fats. Vitamin C, it's got different vitamins and minerals in um, goat's milk. So I might try that for today. Um, it's quite hot as well, so my body's knocking out a lot of it's sweating at the moment, especially in this car, so it's quite good um, for a cleansing. And um, I don't really feel physically hungry. So I might just try that out, and that would be kind of... Um, so, uh, a tea fast, a tea fast for the day. Um, I'm already hitting 24 hours. And then if I do it the next, it'd be into the 48. So if I just had tea today, that's pretty much, I would push it right round the clock. And you've also got to balance your fast around your uh, physical activities. And it's not a biggie. You can have, um, if you've got a day off in a week, you could have, like, you could do a 24 hour fast from Saturday, have a nice roast dinner, and not eat anything else the rest of the day, and then come back to Monday, and you're eating your usual food. So you can kind of mix up the the nomad, um, omad, nomads, nomads, something else. <laughs> um, I can't encounter the nomads; they're different. Um, yeah, the omads, the omad type of style of um, eating doesn't have to be every day. It's just that it's working for me because I'm trying to reduce weight, I'm trying to cut weight, and also improve my health. I think my skin's a lot better. It's a lot sunnier as well. So the autophagy and um, maybe uh, browning your skin because I notice what happens when my skin gets damaged it just peels off so I end up just kind of bits you know a brown but it, it end up peeling or it peeling it'd be brown underneath so my body tries to regenerate quicker its skin um, rather than be more resistant to the sun it's reflective to the sun really so yeah anyway I'll, I'll come back with you some more information some updates as I as I progress and this is Big Sun up and speak to you soon